fellow YouTubers, this is Little Experience, and I'm back again in the same outfit you might have already seen me in. I'm recording this all on the same day, but you don't need to know that. Shh. Anyways, I'm back with a fun video today, uh, and something a little different, not Japan related, and well, I guess I've already filmed to this point two vlog with videos with Japan's so not really relevant anymore. That's beside the point, I'm confused. Woo! Um, I actually tried to record this video a week ago, but I didn't have it planned out or scripted or all. Uh, and it was kind of all over the place and I was like, I don't want to upload this, this is just awful. So I'm here to do it again, and this time I have notes. This is a great notebook that has a lot of things in here, like video ideas and notes for videos. So yeah, I should be more prepared next time when I do things. So yeah, I prepared this time for my first book review. I don't know why I leaned back for that, I want you to see what it is. So. This is the volume one of the series, The Irregular Magic High School. If you watch anime, you might be familiar with the anime. Uh, it was, oh, I didn't take notes about when that was published. It was a couple years ago, it's not new. I know that much. Um, and it used to be on Netflix, that's where I watched it. It wasn't dubbed and I don't think it has been, but this was the original source material. So the author, Tsutomo Sato, actually originally wrote the story as a like online story um, and then I guess it was good enough it got picked up by an actual publisher so it got to be published as actual novels or light novels anyways and it has relatively recently been translated to English and they have up to volume 9 in English on sale in stores I have up to volume 9 I think I'm up to date because I've been to the bookstore recently trust me um, yeah so the anime series goes up to about volume 7 because volume 8 goes past the anime series so you do get like a lot of if you've seen the anime series um, what you're gonna be reading is definitely a lot of the familiar story but the books go into more detail with a lot of stuff than the series does so the reason I want to talk about this is because the regular magic high school is one of my favorite animes the, the only reason I can't give it a 10 out of 10 will come up later in this discussion, so we'll talk about that later. But it is a great series. I loved it. I was very interested in the magical world setting that it built. Um, so yeah, I decided after watching the series when I found out there was a light novel series, I decided to read it because I wanted more of the series. So I'm actually reading my notes now. I've done a lot of talking about checking, so just give me a second. All right, here we go. So the, I guess the biggest difference between the anime and the book, like when starting out, is that the anime kind of just throws you in and doesn't give you really an explanation or time to adjust. It's just kind of here's our world and go. Whereas what I really appreciate about the novels, and this is true to every single novel, is that at the beginning they give you like a little just like what are magic high schools? It's different in every volume. But then they give you in every volume like a list of the characters and like descriptions and it updates with every volume so that anytime a new character is introduced they will add it to the front of the novel so that we can kind of keep track of them because there is a pretty large cast of characters and they give you information about like how they do magic like kind of what the science of the magic is and I just really appreciate stuff like that at the beginning of novels especially when it is such a different world to be able to kind of you know understand it a bit before being thrown into it so I really appreciate that about the novels and it just in general because it's a novel versus a show uh, it has the ability to do so much more world building than the show does. Um, so yeah, pro to the novel. The the biggest issue I have with the series, and this does go more for the anime than it does for the book, but it's still pretty relevant in the book, is that I don't particularly like the main characters who are on the cover. That is Miyuki Shiba and then that's Tatsuya Shiba. Um, I don't particularly like Tatsuya who's like the main main character because he's OP as shit, uh, and I don't know, I'm just not a fan of overpowered characters because, you know, they get into a situation you know they're gonna succeed because they always succeed, ho ho. And even Miyuki, the, who, their brother and sister, they're both, I don't know, they just, they're, they're always gonna win, they're never going to lose. And they, they're really cocky about it too, and it just, I don't know, I just, characters like that just rub me the wrong way. However, as much as I hate the main characters, I love pretty much every single other character in this book. They all have very distinct personalities and they're all very well developed and like you just you just you just learn to like them. I don't know, like I feel like except for the main characters, every other character is pretty damn solid in this series. Um, but they are a little more bearable, the main characters are in the books versus the anime, 
because you do get the chance to see their thought processes in like the italic bits and i think being able to see what they're thinking and having the narrator's voice there to provide insight makes them a little more likable versus just seeing what you do in the anime um and the reason the thoughts in the narration helps in the novel is because there's tiny incestuous undertones in their relationship um and in the anime that can definitely be taken the wrong way because like it's 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 pretty clear like they they're like yeah brother sister great mm -mm, sign me out which is again that's why i can't give it a 10 out of 10 because of that slight incest i'm like uh-uh no i don't care if you're denying it it's your intent you're you're saying it without actually doing it and it's just ugh. but the narrator of the book is very self-aware and points out many a times how the sister has a brother complex and vice versa and I think because the book's able to make fun of itself and has all the other characters in the book be like that's wrong guys and they're like we know we don't actually like each other we're just really weird siblings even though it, like the tones are still there it's very clear that it's being pointed out and addressed which I it makes it a little more bearable um, so yeah, and nothing actually happens between the two, at least not until I think the stuff in the later volumes does. I've only ever read this on the internet, so I'm not going to talk about it. But up until volume nine, at least, nothing actually happens. So it's it's bearable as long as you can kind of deal with the sister-brother complex. Yeah, okay, I talked about the narration. Oh gosh, the narration in this book is hilarious. And I can't tell if it's like actually just funny or if it's because of the translation. But I absolutely absolutely love the narration in this book it's just it's so self-aware it's so funny it cuts itself off when trying to make a point and it's just it's so great it's third person um up until volume eight for whatever reason in volume eight during like flashbacks it goes to first person which really threw me off but every other book is third person and i don't know i just the narration of this book really is what sold it sold it for me so yeah i do love that um so yeah translation uh Speaking of translation, that does make it funnier, but in the first couple of volumes there were some grammar mistakes that I noticed. Uh, this does improve. I definitely noticed them less as the volumes went on, so maybe it was just an earlier volume thing, but there are a couple of grammar mistakes that slipped through. Again, it is a translated novel, so some things are just not going to carry through as well as they would have in Japanese, and I understand that, but it is just something to take note of, and it does improve, so that's why I'm also going to call it out, because they, they did a good job of that. Um, and speaking of improvement, the artist of the book, the one who did like the cover and there's actually photos like throughout the book, um, they just do a great job. Like they are a wonderful artist and I've also noticed that like the covers improve over time. Um, this one like is good, but by volume nine, like the Miyuki's on both this volume one and volume nine and you can tell that it's just gotten so much better. Like it's slight changes, she's still great in the first volume. But her art gets so much better and I think the pictures in the books really sell it because you just you get to see what you're reading and I think that helps visualize things a lot um and in one of the volumes when they're doing like battle stuff the book actually like draws out the maps and like updates the map so you can see who's where and who's fighting what and because it become really confusing especially with a large cast of characters to kind of keep track of what's happening and who's doing what and where so the images in the maps especially in like that particular volume just do wonders for the book um like i said the cast of characters is amazing except for the main ones we don't talk about them <laughs> and the book because of the beginning parts does a really great job of keeping track of all the characters and the world and the magic and how all of that works so overall I really, really love this series. Um, I love the covers because they get prettier as they go too. I love the pictures in them. I love the characters. I love the world. Like I wanted to watch a series because I saw it and I'm like, a world with magic. I'm a big magic fan, but this one in particular really sold me and I couldn't tell what it was. I think it was just the science-y kind of magic. And I was just really interested and then having the chance to read the original work and kind of see where the anime came from. And be able to appreciate what the, the original author did it was just astounding like i just actually this is a great time to do this video because i just finished reading volume 9 today which is like i said the last one that's been translated to date uh that's in stores anyways um and it's just great like i'm finally getting to read stuff that happens after the anime series and from what i'm reading they could so totally do a second season of this because the story is definitely not over and what happens after the anime ends is still super interesting and super like it draws me in and it's a really good story and I want to see it animated 
Um, I don't know if I dislike the anime more having read it first versus having seen the anime first, but I do want to see more of the Irregular like, Magic High School because I did enjoy the anime <clears throat> and I love the books and I'm loving where the story is going. And I think they can make a really amazing season two with what comes after where season one ended. So that was kind of, I guess, I don't know if it was a review really of the series because I didn't talk about plot details because I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't seen the anime or read the books. Um, but it was just kind of an overview of the series to be able to inform you on some things before maybe picking it up for yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, if you're maybe not into light novels, uh, you can always just go watch the anime. Or they've actually done a manga side series, which I can pull out uh, uh, volume one of here. Um, so this one's called The Honor Student at Magic High School. And it is, unlike, it's a manga instead of a light novel, and it follows Miyuki instead of Tatsuya. I have up to volume five over there, and I've only actually read volume one though. But it's interesting so far. It is interesting to be able to see kind of, you know, another side of the character, because both Miyuki and Tatsuya are main characters. <clears throat> but it primarily follows Tatsuya on the novel. We do, since it's the third person, we do get to see like other characters like the police or the military or like the other students. But this one really follows Miyuki from what I'm seeing. And it does help build the relationship. I don't know if I like more building of a relationship between the two. Um, but hopefully it makes me hate them a little less. That's the goal, really, is that by reading this, I want to hate Tatsuya and Miyuki less. Because if I can clear past that, then this series can finally get a 10 out of 10 on my anime list. So yeah, that was my overall overview of the Irregular Magic High School light novel, kind of my thoughts on the anime, and just a little ho ho if you want to read a side story, go read the manga. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please let me know because I'd love to do more overviews of other manga or light novels or books that I have on the shelves behind me as you saw. Um, because I love reading and I love watching stuff, and I like sharing my opinion if I can, especially on something a little more controversial, like in Ragnarok Magic High School and the relationship. Ew, it's not, it's not that bad. It's just a little gross. <laughs> Anyways, I would love to do more is what I'm saying. If you enjoyed this, so do let me know. Comment below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Ho ho ho. I'm doing well so far. I got 22. I say, I like, no, trust me. I actually like really appreciate anyone who has thought to subscribe to this channel. Um, and yeah, that is all for me today. You're not going to see me in this outfit again. That's actually probably a lot. It's one of my favorites. But you're not going to see me in it today again in the same outfit. That made no sense. These videos aren't even going on the same day. I should stop talking now. Clearly, I have talked too much. All I'm going to say is thank you for watching. Thumbs up to you. And goodbye. I need to go to sleep.